Okay. We are taking out pineapple upside down cakes. Had a couple that just did not want to get done. I think next time I will try the hot water and with them. Or hinder. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna get at this. And before I did my jars, <clears throat> jars are hot. <clears throat> I wiped my jars off like I do anything I'm going to can. Oh, this is awkward. <clears throat> um, I cleaned them off and wiped them with vinegar. <clears throat> now, I know some do them one at a time out of the oven. Not me. <clears throat> I'd never get them all done. <clears throat> Put them on there nice and snugly. Yeah, that's better. Kind of an assembly line dealio there. <clears throat> Woo! That one kind of about went sliding. See, I did 12 jars. I split one, one stick of butter. I just cut it in half. Cut each half in thirds. <clears throat> and then I cut each of those in half. Put one piece in each jar. So approximately a twelve of a stick. Wow, that one sounded weird. Now these two, I want to watch the rings on. <clears throat> Need to make sure they seal properly. Just a little funky for some reason. <clears throat> My casserole dish is very hot too. Hi, I don't like to get burned. I... <laughs> My skin comes first. My fingers come first. <clears throat> Something's yeah. Something's gonna happen to something. It's it's gonna be. To the wow, that got me. If something's going to happen to something, it's going to be you know, to the canning jar. I love my canning jars, but is it really? <clears throat> they're going to, like I said, they my fingers come first, my hands come first. Maybe some kind of air pocket there. Okay, I did tighten that one right, didn't I? Yes, I did. Did go a little more. There we go. Got them done. Hopefully they seal. Got a mess here. We've been snowed in and taking the dogs out and everything sitting back there. This is hot. It's going to sit in the oven to cool so nobody grabs it. And actually, what I normally do. I like these hay wiped off again. I lay the oven mitts out around and stuff. So if anybody comes along, they will know this is a hot zone. Anyway, um, we'll tune in another time and let you know how they turned out. They look really good and can't wait to tie into one and they smell really good. Oh, oh I did them. Um, I did um, a kind of like a teaspoon, a lumpy teaspoon, kind of half pressed, half not, in each one, 
with the butter. And then I did, uh, I split one can, like trying to drain it as I did, one can of crushed pineapple, a couple of spoonsful in each one, but I went through once and then, you know, again, and then, you know, divvied up so they all had approximately the same amount. I had um, probably five eighths of a cup of like pineapple juice or syrup or something out of the can. So I used that in the plain yellow cake mix, Pillsbury yellow cake mix. Um, I had the half cup thing out, so I poured in a half a cup of pineapple. There was a couple little pieces of pineapple in it, but the juice, I poured a half a cup in there and the rest of the can. Um, it's about a, an eighth, like a fourth of the half cup, me measuring cup. And I filled it on up with water to get my one cup and three eggs and, you know, a half a cup of oil. Just kind of mixed as directed and split it in between. Had like a approximately a fourth of a cup or so, a little extra in each one. And that's how they are done. And we'll see how that turns out. Can't wait to try some more. Praise God from whom all blessings flow, especially the sweet stuff like pineapple. We'll catch you later. Ciao for now.